that your text, Rainbow Dash? Did something come through the portal? Is Equestrian Magic on the loose? Did Twilight come back with a problem that only we can solve? Has a giant cake monster covered all the cakes in the world in cake? Um, not exactly. Uh... I don't understand. Well, Sunset, I was just telling Rainbow Dash here that a broken guitar string doesn't really qualify as an emergency. It totally does. Really, Rainbow Dash? I was in the middle of sewing a very complex applique on my latest frock. And I was just about to tuck everyone in for the night at the shelter. Now we'll have to start stories all over again. Why would you send all of us an emergency text for a guitar string? Well, I was going to pony up and show our fans some awesome guitar licks. But I kind of need all six strings to do it. Got any extra? Ugh. Here, but everyone finished practicing for the day. I'm pretty sure all the music rooms are locked. No problem. The acoustics in the hallway are perfect for power chords. Come on, let's go! You coming, Sunset? I'll catch up in a bit. Dear Princess Twilight, how's life treating you in Equestria? Any cool new magic spells? It's been pretty quiet here at CHS since the Battle of the Bands. We still pony up when we play music, which Rainbow Dash just loves to show off. But I still can't quite grasp what it's all about. I would love to hear what you think about it when you get a sack. Your friend, Sunset Shimmer.
She was definitely doing something to the statue, or was going to. Do you think she came through the portal from Equestria? No, I'm pretty sure I would have noticed that. I think she was from over here. Well, that's a relief. The last thing we need is another magical so-and-so bent on world domination coming over from Equestria. Agreed. I have no interest in another fight against the powers of evil magic. The wear and tear on my wardrobe is just too much to keep up with. Still, a mysterious figure snooping around the portal? Don't you want to know what she was up to? <laughs> I don't even want to guess. Well, you don't have to, because I've totally figured out who it was. Ooh, ooh! A nighttime statue cleaner? A magical portal maintenance maintainer? A gardener? Seeing as how they got off a bus from the city and got back on a bus headed to the city, I'll bet they go to... Crystal Prep. Yep. With the friendship game starting tomorrow, they'd totally try to prank us by defacing the Wonder Colt statue. Why would anyone take a bus all the way from the city for that? Because the Crystal Prep Shadow Bolts are our biggest rivals. Because that's just what the students at Crystal Prep would do. Because even though they beat us in everything, soccer, tennis, golf, they still have to gloat. Seems kind of silly to me. Silly? So, I guess you think the friendship games are silly, too. Well, it's not like we'll be fighting the powers of evil magic. No, we'll be fighting against a school full of meanies. Not everything has to be magical to be important. You're right. I'm sorry. I know it's a big deal. Oh, that's putting it mildly, darling. They're still revamping the playing field in preparation. I just don't understand why there's this big rivalry. Aren't the friendship games supposed to be about our two schools getting along? Well, it's kind of hard to get along with someone who beats you at everything. Not anymore! This time, things are gonna be different. What do you mean? Oh, you'll find out. As I am sure you all know, Tomorrow, Canterlot High School will be hosting our fellow students from Crystal Prep Academy as we join together in the spirit of excellence, sportsmanship, and fidelity to compete in the Friendship Games. Since the games only happen every four years, I'm sure you're all curious what goes on. You mean other than us losing? And that is exactly why I've asked Rainbow Dash to come up and give you all a little, um, context. Thank you, Principal Celestia. <clears throat> I know a lot of you might think there's no way we can beat a fancy school like Crystal Prep at anything. Unless it's a losing to Crystal Prep competition, because we're really good at that. <sighs> and I know that CHS has never won the Friendship Games even once. Oh dear, I hope this speech isn't meant to be motivational. Crystal Prep students are super athletic, super smart, and super motivated. But there's one thing they aren't. They aren't Wonder Colts. We fought magic more than once and come out on top. Oh. There's other schools, but none can make those claims. Na, 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 na. Oh. Together we are Canterlot. Come and cheer our name. Oh. This will be our year to win these games. We'll always be Wonder Colts forever. And now our time has finally arrived. Cause we believe in the magic of friendship. And you know, at the end of the day, it is we who survive.
Rainbow Dash. That was amazing. Even I feel like we can win. I feel like my school pride is at an all-time high. Is anybody else wondering how Dash ponied up without playing her guitar? I know, right? It's probably because I'm so awesome. Maybe. I mean, you are awesome, but there's got to be more to it than that, right? It just seems so random. Well, it would be nice if you girls could get a handle on it. We'd like to keep magic as far away from the friendship games as possible. We don't want to be accused of cheating. We don't need magic to defeat those hoity-toity crystal preppers. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Still, the friendship games are serious business. We don't want any surprises, especially the kind that could cause us to forfeit. Sunset Shimmer, you came here from a world of magic. Perhaps you can get to the bottom of our magical development. I'll do my best. Okay, anybody have any guesses what the events are gonna be? Pie eating? Cake eating? <gasps> Pie cake eating? They won't even let us see what they're doing to the field. You'd think they'd at least tell competitors what they're competing in. It could be anything. Anything? How will I ever pick the right outfit? I really want to help, but I think I better go focus on figuring out why Rainbow Dash ponied up. See you later. Seems like she's got everything under control. Nothing to worry about. Hey, Twilight. Haven't heard back from you yet. I guess you must be pretty busy with your role as princess. But I could really use your advice right now. You see, I've been given the job of keeping magic under control here at CHS, even though I still haven't quite wrapped my head around it. And now, after seeing Rainbow Dash pony up the way she did, it makes me think our magic might be changing. Everyone is looking to me to figure things out, and I really don't want to let them down. But I'm not sure I have enough experience with friendship magic to solve this. Field test confirmed it, Spike. With this device, I can track and contain the bizarre energy coming from Canterlot High. I know you didn't like me going over there, but I just couldn't wait. And soon, I'll have all the time I need. All of Crystal Prep is gonna be there for the friendship games. I just hope all that rivalry nonsense doesn't get in the way of my research. If I can collect enough data on these EM frequencies, I should be able to extrapolate the waveforms to determine their origin. That would practically guarantee my entrance into the Everton Independent Study Program. Whoa! Twilight, you know the rules against pets. Well, Spike isn't a pet, Dean Cadence. He's the focus of my research project. Human canine cohabitation, effects and implications. If you say so, but Principal Cinch is highly allergic, so I suggest you put on a clean shirt. Why? Because she wants to see you. Ooh, maybe she has news about my application to Everton. I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Are you sure that's what you really want? Why wouldn't it be? A program that allows me to focus all my attention on my own advanced math and science projects? What a dream come true! But there aren't any classrooms with other students. You'll be doing everything on your own. That is why it's called an independent study program. I just don't want you to miss out on anything, that's all. Being around other people isn't a bad thing. Sometimes it's how you learn the most about yourself. I guess... Meet you in Principal Cinch's office in a few minutes? What's she so worried about? Everton is exactly what I need right now. <sighs> it's not like I have anything left to learn at Crystal Prep. Every 
another place, another way. And I know there's more that's out there, and I'll find out someday. I'll find out Shining armor? Why is my brother here? As an alumni, Principal Cinch thought he could provide some unique perspective. Perspective on what? Why, the friendship games, of course. You competed in the games, did you not, Shining Armor? <clears throat> I did. And do you happen to recall who won? <laughs> Crystal Prep did. We always win. We always win. Why did you ask to see me? Twilight. I'll be honest. It doesn't matter whether or not Crystal Prep wins or loses. The important thing is that we are expected to win because Crystal Prep has a reputation. And it is that reputation, my reputation, that is responsible for everything we have here. For everything you've done here. And you've done quite a lot, haven't you? I don't know. I guess. Oh, don't be modest. You're the best student this school has ever seen. What I can't understand is why my best student wouldn't want to compete. In the friendship games? Look, Twiley, I know it's not really your thing, but representing the school is kind of a big deal. Plus, they could really use your help. It seems Cantalot High is undergoing something of a renaissance. Test scores are up, grades, even athletics are on the rise. You see, they are developing somewhat of a reputation. This cannot happen. Principal Cinch, I can't possibly participate in the games. My work here is very... Ah, yes. Your work. Cadence, could you and Shining Armor find my contact sheet for the Everton Independent Study Program? Of course. I understand you've applied. You see... One of the advantages of having a reputation is a certain amount of influence in such things. So, let me offer you a deal. In return for contributing your agile mind to these games, I will use my influence to guarantee your application is approved. Though I suppose I could also have it denied. What do you think I should do? Come on, Spike! I was always going to go to Canterlot High for the friendship games. The only difference now is that I have to compete. Besides, it's not like Principal Cinch gave me much of a choice. I know, Spike. I don't like it either. I probably won't be able to collect anywhere near as much data as I thought. But maybe I can still get some. <laughs> Spike, I wouldn't leave without you. Just remember to be quiet and try not to shed. Dean Cadence, I'm not really sure where to go. One second, Twilight. You could try the end of the line. What did you say? Just that someone as smart as you should definitely go first. I... I didn't mean to. I was just asking. This is the right bus, Twilight. Go ahead. But I didn't mean to cut in front. Well, it's too late now. I don't know. Wrong answer! Try again! Are we gonna win? Um, I guess? It's just, I mean, I heard that CHS is doing well now, with their reputation. And, I mean, it's not better than ours, of course. But we can't let them do it, you know? Win, I mean, right? You're gonna have to take a seat! Hi, 
sugar coat. That was a really bad speech. You should consider not speaking in public. Well, Spike, at least I've got you with me. Games have a music competition because we would totally rock it. Um, we're supposed to keep magic out of the friendship games, remember? Easier said than done, darling. I'm sure in Equestria magic does whatever you want, but this isn't Equestria. Well, when it comes to magic, I'm sure you'll figure it out. And while Sunset works on keeping the magic out of the games, I have been working on what to put in. <laughs> Rarity. What did you go and do? Well, <laughs> I had a little time on my hands, and since we don't know what the Friendship Games events are, <laughs> I made a few options for uniforms. You really didn't have to do that. I know. No, you really didn't have to. I know! <laughs> Vice Principal Luna can help your students get settled if you'd like me to show you around, Principal Cinch. There have been quite a few changes since your last visit. Oh, yes, Principal Celestia. I'm sure that would be fascinating. Oh, it's always such a pleasure to see you, Dean Cadence, even if it means another defeat. Thank you, Vice Principal Luna. But I hear it's not going to be so easy this time. Coming through! <laughs> Seriously? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, sorry. Why don't you go ahead? You are such a sweetie! I am watching you. Ah! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> you are kind of being a doormat right now. Twilight. Hey, Twilight! Hi, Twilight. Hi, Twilight. Hey, you. Looking good. Um, hi. Hey, what's happening? Really nice to see you. Twilight, how you doing? Twilight, yo. Hi. Hello. Uh, good. <coughs> Twilight? I almost didn't recognize you. When did you start wearing glasses? Um, like since forever. Oh, so how long are you here for? Just for the friendship games. Right, of course. We'll totally win with you here. Uh, I gotta go. Uh, okay. Bye. Oh. Uh, Rarity? These outfits are great, but why would you put so much time and effort into clothes we might not even wear? You're gonna exhaust yourself before the games even start. Oh, don't be silly, darling. Putting effort into clothes is what I live for, and spending time on my friends fills me with energy! <sighs> and magic too, I guess. Applejack, now that you mention it, I suppose I could use a tiny break. I told you. Twilight? Twilight? Uh, yes? Well, I'll be. You should have told us you were coming. Darling, those glasses. <laughs> what are you wearing? It's so severe. My uniform? Your uniform for what? For crystal prep. But why does everyone at the school know who I am? Did you just say crystal prep? Ruff, ruff. Spike! <gasps> you know my dog's name too? 
And our music program has especially taken off. Twilight? This is getting ridiculous. I must apologize for the curiosity of my prize student. Your student? The smart ones are always curious. I'll return her to check in with the rest of her classmates. I didn't know Twilight had a twin sister. She doesn't! That Twilight is obviously the Twilight from this world since it couldn't possibly be the Twilight from the Pony World since the Twilight from the Pony World doesn't go to Crystal Prepper with glasses! Never mind. I'm sorry, Principal Cinch. I was just following these strange readings. Actually, they led me to those girls and Twilight, I... what you do in your free time is of little interest to me, but while you're here, I, all of Crystal Prep, in fact, require your complete focus. But why does everyone at this school seem to know me? Perhaps they're trying to confuse you. Perhaps they're trying to lure you away. It didn't feel like anyone was trying to lure me. I don't know what they're playing at, but I guarantee it isn't to help us win. I can't believe our world's Twilight goes to Crystal Prep! You're saying that Twilight's gonna play against us? She'd never do that. Our Twilight wouldn't. Our Twilight is a princess in Equestria and an expert in friendship magic. And if she was here, we'd have already figured out why magic is randomly popping up during pep rallies and costume changes. Oh, sorry. I'm just frustrated that I haven't heard back from her. She's a princess in Equestria. Probably got problems of her own to deal with. We certainly can't expect her to drop everything and pop through the portal whenever. Especially if it's to deal with something as minor as a few random pony-ups. But they aren't minor. Magic came into this world when I stole Twilight's crown. It's taken a lot for me to earn everyone's trust. If we have to forfeit the games because I can't think of a way to keep it under control... Oh, Sunset, I'm sure you'll be able to figure things out. You're the one who helped us understand what was going on with the sirens, remember? I guess, but Twilight was the one who really figured out what we needed to defeat them. But don't you remember, darling? What we needed to defeat them was you. <sighs> All right. Oh, oh, right. Come on, guys. Let's see if we can find any info about the events and come up with a strategy. You coming, Sunset? I'll... Catch up with you guys in a bit. Still no reply. Maybe there's another way I could reach her. Hey, let's go! What did you do? Twilight, you have to check in with the others. Where's the portal? I mean, it's gone. It's closed. It's not there anymore. How'd that happen? I don't know, but it has something to do with that twilight. What in tarnation is she up to? Huh? Leave this to me. Twilight, what have you been up to? Me? Oh, I was just in... Who wants to know? Um, we do? All right, everyone. Let's not get too competitive before the games even start. The games aren't really competitive since we've never lost. That's not a very nice thing to say. Sorry, dearie, but these games aren't about being nice. Well, you might use a little tact. Hi, I'm Pinkie Pie. Oh, hi, I'm Twilight. I know, you look just like my friend. Her name is Twilight, too. That's uh, weird. What's that? It's sort of a spectrometer. I built it to track EM frequencies, but it can also contain anomalies. It measures things. Like the party? Yeah, though it doesn't look like much of a party to me. I know. Something is definitely missing. Come on! Yeah! Hello, everyone.
everyone. I'd like to take this opportunity to greet all of our visitors from Crystal Prep Academy and welcome them to CHS. <laughs> what in the world is in these? Party cannons, of course! And lastly, I would like to recognize the 12 students that CHS has elected to compete. I don't think we could have chosen a better group to represent the excellence, sportsmanship, and friendship the games stand for. Um, are you sure this is a good idea? Principal Celestia for her unconventional welcome. It's been four years since the last Friendship Games, but it feels as though nothing has changed. Canter Lot High continues to pick its competitors in a popularity contest, and Crystal Prep continues to field its top 12 students. It is a comfort to know that even after so many years of losses, your school remains committed to its ideals, however misguided they may be. I wish you all the best of luck, regardless of the inevitable outcome. Oh. I'm sorry, Pinky. I thought your party additions were really swell. They definitely broke the ice. Yes, if only that principal cinch hadn't frozen it again. Yeah, she's awful. Wow, Pinky, what happened to you? I don't know. Everyone started having fun after Twilight and I fired the party cannons and I ponied up. Of course you did. But then the magic just drained right out of me. Wait, what do you mean, drained out of you? Hey, where is that other Twilight? Oh, she's right... Uh, well, she was right here. Good morning, students. I'm sure you're all thrilled to start the first day of the Friendship Games. Our competitors will face off in every aspect of the CHS curriculum, culminating in the Elimination Equation Finale. Welcome to the first event, the Academic Decathlon. You'll be scored on chemistry, home ec, and everything in between. But remember, only the six students from each team with the most points will move on to event number two. Good luck! I'm gonna take you down. I'm gonna take you down. you win, so get out of our way. Think you got us beat, but we're here to stay. United, strong, yeah, we'll take you down. You're not so tough, now you're in our town. All of the times we lost before, not about to give up, we're only bringing in more. We can smell your fear, we can see your sweat. Hope you didn't spend money, cause you're losing this bet. You've got nothing on us, na 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 Let's go, what's the call? You've got nothing
Can she do it? Will she make it? Who will win it? Who will take it? Can she do it? Who will take it? Did she win it? Did she make it? Correct. That means the winner of the Friendship Games' first event is Twilight Sparkle and Crystal Prep! That was awesome! Truly amazing! But we didn't win. That was as close to winning as Canterlot's ever been. After a careful tally of the points, we'd like to present the students moving on to the Friendship Games second event. Congratulations, you were really great. I'm sorry, excuse me. Okay then. Uh... Want to give her a treat? Guess I'm not the only one to smuggle her pet into school. <laughs> not just one. Oh, wow. All I have is Spike. It really is uncanny. Does he talk? Um, not that I know of. Congratulations on winning, by the way. Though, it didn't seem like anyone on your team was very excited about it. No one at my school gets excited about anything they didn't do themselves. That sounds awful. Here, hold this. Um, why? Holding a bunny always makes me feel better. Well, that's ridiculous. But, oh, it actually kind of works. I'm on the other team and you just lost. Why are you being so nice to me? You look like you needed it. Or the hole in space, or my talking dog. Yeah, weird, right? Are you okay? How do you feel? What happened? Where did you go? Hey, one question at a time. This is pretty new to me, too. Sorry. All I know is I chased that pointy rabbit through the glowy thing, and then it was somewhere else. Next thing I knew, I was back in that nice girl's arms, and I could talk. I don't really understand why I couldn't before. I mean, it's so easy. Twilight. Quick, hide in here. Who are you talking to? Um, myself. It's a nervous habit. Were you looking for me? Indeed I was. Quite a coincidence that the CHS students moving on to the next event are the same nice girls who were so interested in you, don't you think? I'm not sure. Perhaps you should get to know them after all. But I thought you didn't want me to. Let's just say I'm covering my bases. Who knows? Perhaps they will reveal to you the secret to Canterlot High's newfound success. I don't know. Spying feels kind of wrong. Well, it's your decision, Twilight. It's not as if your application hangs in the balance. On second thought, yes, it does. Man, she's awful. What are you gonna do? <sighs> I don't know, Spike. I don't know. All I did was hand Twilight a bunny. Then I ponied up. 
I just don't get it. Rarity's magic came out when she made us outfits, Pinky's when she fixed the party, and now Fluttershy. And then Twilight's pendant thingy just pulled the magic right out of me. I couldn't even stand up. Like me at the party! Or me right before we met Twilight. So she's stealing magic? I don't know. She doesn't seem like the magic stealing type. Yeah, but she had something to do with closing the portal. If her pendant can pull in magic, maybe it stole the portal too. How? I don't know. And the pony or person or princess who could help me figure this out is completely unreachable now. Which is too bad, because Twilight knows everything about magic and portals and magical portals. For now, let's just focus on beating the Shadow Bolts. And as long as this event puts me in a playing field, I don't think we've got anything to worry about. Oh, it puts you on a playing field, all right. <laughs> Am I the only one who thinks this is overkill? I don't suppose you made motocross outfits. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Of course I did! You will race in pairs. Indigo Zap and Sugar Coat will handle the motocross. Yes! Lemon Zest and Sunny Flare have requested the short track. Since archery is a standard requirement at our school, any of you should be able to do it. Twilight and Sour Sweet will start us off. Well, that's just marvelous! If you want to lose before we even start. Given that Twilight won the last event single-handedly, I have every confidence that she will be able to pull her weight here. Won't you? <laughs> Welcome everyone to the Friendship Games Tri-Cross Relay. In this event, our qualifying competitors will face off in archery, speed skating, and finally, motocross. If the competitors are ready, each competitor must hit a bullseye before their teammates can start the next leg of the relay. Crystal prep. You said it. If CPA can't hit another bullseye soon, they'll be out of this race. You're really bad at this. I can't take any more. You have to stop aiming at the target. Oh, that makes perfect sense. Don't aim at the target. Thanks so much. You have to stop aiming at where the target is and aim at where the target's gonna be. Yeah, definitely take advice from the person you're competing against! Do you want to hit the bullseye or not? Then trust me, take a deep breath and let the arrow go right now. See? I was telling you the truth. <laughs> what are you 
Happen. I just wanted to learn about the strange energy coming from your school. I didn't know that it was magic or how it works. That's okay. Neither do we. Oh no! No, no, no! Not again! <laughs> I'm sorry! It just started absorbing energy on its own, but I'm not sure how! What do you mean you don't know how? causes these corresponding rifts to appear. I don't know how that works either. Is there anything you do know? Like how to get our magic back or how to fix the portal to Equestria? Equestria? You're supposed to be so smart, but did you ever think that you shouldn't be messing around with things you don't understand? But I want to understand. But you don't. And worst of all, you put the lives of my friends in danger. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Twilight! Wait! <clears throat> you can't possibly call that a fair race. Principal Cinch, we all saw what happened. You can't think CHS had some kind of advantage. Can't I? Even without your trained attack plans, your students have wings. Well, the race certainly had some extenuating circumstances. Perhaps we should end the games now and declare a tie. A tie? Was this your strategy all along? To force us into accepting you as equals? I think not. 
The games will continue, and Crystal Prep will prevail despite your antics and whatever performance-enhancing regimen your students are on. I'm sorry I couldn't stop all this from happening. It's not your fault, Sunset. Isn't it? I should know how to control the magic I brought here. But I don't. I let everyone down. And now Principal Cinch thinks we're cheating. It doesn't matter what Principal Cinch thinks. But it does. The students here at CHS don't just want to win, they want to beat Crystal Prep. It isn't going to count if the other side doesn't really think they lost. Crystal Prep is never going to believe we won fair and square if there's magic around. And that magic is only around because of me. Since the score is tied, the final event will determine the winner of the Friendship Games. Somewhere on campus, a pennant from each school has been hidden. The first team to find their school's flag and bring it back wins. And as soon as our teams are ready, we'll begin. But I don't feel like playing these games anymore. But we have to play! This is the last event! It's a little hard to focus with all the magic stealing and portal opening. And I feel awful about what I said to Twilight. Especially since she obviously didn't mean to do all the stuff she did. She's actually really nice. Let's just get through this last event and prove we're not a bunch of cheaters. Then you can go over and apologize. I know I'm asking you to beat a team that isn't playing fair, but Canterlot High must be made to understand that even with magic at their disposal, beating Crystal Prep is simply not an option. What if they grow wings again? A fair question, though I believe we can now fight fire with fire. I've seen what your device can do, Twilight. Containing magical energy is fine, but have you considered releasing it? But I don't even understand how it works. But you'd like to. And since our opponents have already used it to stay competitive, I see no reason why we shouldn't do the same. Unless, of course, you have no interest in Everton. Though, honestly, I think there's more knowledge packed in that little device than any independent study program could offer. I realize that you've always been an outcast. It's not everyone at school who likes to think. To find a student that's like you, I've had one or maybe two, but the good ones disappear before I blink. Oh, 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 oh. Now I understand you have your reservations. It's hard to have a brain as large as yours. But if we don't win these games, well, I think I've made it plain what will happen if we have the losing score. Unleash the magic, unleash the magic. If we lose, then you're to blame. They all have used it, maybe abused it. So then why can't we do the same? Call it power, call it magic. If we lose, it will be tragic. More important is the knowledge we'll have lost. A chance like this won't come again. You'll regret not giving in. Isn't understanding magic worth the cost? Oh, 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 oh. Unleash the magic, unleash the magic. If we Win our friends here after all. Our only interest in this business is seeing Canterlot High School fall. What I'm suggesting is very simple. And since it's win win on all scores, you only want to learn about the magic that you have stored. As for me and all the others, we only want what we deserve. That our school will clinch the win and my legacy will endure.
understand magic before, but I do now! Equestria! Suggest you do the same. Twilight, you can't do this. Why not? There's a whole other world right there, and it's just filled with magic. But you're destroying this world to get it. So what? There's more magic there. And I want to understand it all! Wanted. Oh, you're wrong. Unlike you, I can have everything I want! No, you can't. Even with all that magic and power, you'll still be alone. True magic comes from honesty, loyalty, laughter, generosity, kindness. I understand you, Twilight. And I want to show you the most important magic of all! The magic of friendship. Take my hand, Twilight. Let me show you there's another way. Just like someone once did for me. By my own experiences, they'll forgive you. <laughs> Principal Celestia, on behalf of Crystal Prep, I demand that you forfeit the friendship games. Clearly, CHS has had unfair advantage for quite some time, and it's certainly obvious that your students have been using magic for their own benefit. I'd like to think that saving the world benefits us all. 
At least they didn't manipulate Twilight into releasing all the stolen magic and turning into a power-crazed magical creature that tried to rip the world apart just to win a game. Wow, that's a lot to take in when you say it all at once. That's ridiculous! Nope, that's pretty much what happened. Actually, we're all to blame. Mostly it was her. Obviously, my students have been infected with your magic, but I plan on taking all of this up with the school board. Good. I'm sure they would be very interested in hearing all about the magical students with wings. Oh, and the portals to different dimensions. And don't forget to tell them about the talking dog. <laughs> because that would never ruin your reputation. Well, I know these friendship games haven't been what any of us expected, but given what we've all just been through, I think it's fair to declare us all winners. I guess that was one way to finish up your time at Crystal Prep. Pretty sure Cinch will be fast-tracking your application after all of that. I've been thinking about it, and I'm not so sure now is the time for me to apply to Everton. Really? I may know about a lot of things, but friendship isn't really one of them. And I'm definitely not going to learn more about it by being alone all the time. So, you're staying at Crystal Prep? Well, it seems the students here at CHS know an awful lot about the subject. I don't suppose... You could transfer to this school instead. Really? You'd certainly be missed at Crystal Prep, but I think that's a great idea. I'll be sure to speak to Principal Celestia about it right away. Still no word from Princess Twilight? Not yet, but I think I may have figured out how magic works in this world. We pony up when we're showing the truest part of ourselves. I was so busy waiting for someone else to give me the answers that I gave up looking for them myself. I'm sure there will be more magical problems that pop up in this world. But like Applejack said, Princess Twilight has her own problems to worry about in Equestria. We can't expect her to always be around to help us. But maybe I can be? It seems we have a new Wonder Colt here at Canterlot High. I'm not sure how much help I could be. But I'd like to try, if you would all give me a chance. I'm sure I can count on you girls to help her feel at home. You sure can. I didn't get here sooner. I didn't get your messages until just now because I was caught in this time travel loop and honestly, it was the strangest thing that's ever happened to me. Make that the second strangest. you. I know. Don't you have a super annoying alarm clock that goes eh, 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 eh. It's going to be fine. We'll help you pack. Ugh. We're going to be out in the woods. When's she going to need that? If we were going to the moon, I'd insist she packed an evening gown. One never knows, darling. Let me just get changed. Shimmer helped me defeat you at the French 
friendship games. You and your friends can never truly defeat me. <laughs> <laughs> Be there, waiting in the darkest shadows of your mind. I'll be back, Twilight! And this time, I won't stop until I have all the magic! No! <laughs> Twilight, wake up! We can't stop, silly. We're not there yet. Hey, are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. We are gonna have so much fun! We're gonna roast marshmallows and eat marshmallows and sleep on yeah, probably not gonna do that. Maybe you're not. Attention, students! We're almost there, but before we arrive, we just wanted to say how proud we are of you for raising enough money to go on this class field trip. When we were your age, we made some of our favorite memories in these woods, and we're sure you will too. Now, who's excited for Camp Everfree? <laughs> want to go on one of those. You want to see all the adorable whipping creatures too? Yeah, specifically squirrels. More specifically, so I can chase them. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to roughing it. I'm gonna make my own shelter, forage for food. Uh, you know they provide us with food and tents, right? Yep. Still gonna forage though. <sighs> I'm just after some R&R. &R. The past year has all been a bit too much for my tastes. I'll say we fought three evil sirens who tried to hypnotize everybody one ridiculously competitive rival school, and two demon friends. Uh, <laughs> no offense. None taken. You'll get used to it. Yep. Canterlot High has become a regular magic magnet. It's gonna be nice getting away to a place where we don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Here you go, Twilight. Thanks. It's Flash, right? Yep, that's me. And you're you. And we don't know each other very well. <laughs> cool story, bro. Right. I guess I'll see you around. You know how there's that girl who looks just like you when she's here, but lives in another dimension and she's a pony princess? Uh-huh. Flash kind of had a thing for her. Oh. Hi, everyone! If you could start heading 
into the courtyard. That would be rad. It's time to start the best week of camp ever. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Camp Everfreeze. I'm Gloriosa Daisy, your camp director. Think of me as your friendly camp and nature guide. And this is my brother, Timber Spruce. Think of me as that awesome guy who should always be invited to fun things. We aim to please, so before we hand out our tent assignments, we'd like to hear from all of you. You're free to do whatever you like here. Uh, except hike near the rock quarry. That's off limits. Yes, but otherwise your options are wide open. So what activities will make this the very best week of your lives ever? Rock climbing! Done! Archery! Of course! Tetherball! Naturally! Rainbow, I know you're excited, but maybe give somebody else a chance to make a suggestion. Arts and crafts! My mom needs new pot holders. Awesome lava looms! Cookie decorating! Ooh, I do make a mean sugar cookie. Early morning nature walks? With walking sticks for everyone! Oh, me! Oh, uh, a fashion show where I design the most fabulous camp looks inspired by today's hottest trends and have them modeled by my classmates in a gorgeous outdoor setting! A camp tradition! We have literally never done that. I'll be taking requests the rest of the time you're here, so if there's anything you'd like to do, anything you need, just ask. What about the camp gift? That was my favorite camp ever free tradition. The camp gift, of course! Really? Yes, really. Well, I just thought... Then you thought wrong. Anyone else picking up on a little tension between Gloriosa and her brother? Uh, little. Every year, campers work together to create something useful. A gift for future campers. Working toward this common goal is key to forming the strong bonds that will last well beyond your time here at camp. Which is why it's so important. This gazebo was a gift from last year's group. Oh, 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 and the totem pole and the sundial were also made by campers. The sundial was our year's gift. <clears throat> Even though some people thought it was a little impractical since a sundial can't be used at night. Oh, you all seem like a, a really amazing group. So I'm certain you'll come up with something inspiring to leave behind. <laughs> Speaking of leaving things behind, Now's the time when we give out tent assignments, so you can leave your heavy bags behind. Uh, girls will be getting their assignments from Timber. Guys, you're with me. Oh, boy! Mm -hmm. Yay! I'm in the Emerald Tent! Oh, me too! Aquamarine. Me too! Yay! Oh, yeah. I got Amethyst. Sapphire. Me too! I mean, I'm assuming I am. <laughs> Typically, sapphires aren't just blue. <laughs> they can be pink, purple, yellow. Yeah, but they're mostly blue. That's why they're named after the Latin word spherus. That means blue. I know. But did you know that sapphires are just rubies without chromium? No. But did you know that sapphire tent is the best one? No. Why is that? Because you're in it. Oh, I bet you say that to all the campers. Not true. You're in the ruby tent? Ha! <laughs> That's the worst one. Oh, man! I'm just joking, buddy. Ruby tent is great. It's like a sapphire, but with chromium. <laughs> but the ruby and coral tents do look an awful lot alike to the undiscerning eye. I better show you where it is. See you around. Nothing. Ooh, that was adorable. Okay, everyone, go get settled in. We'll be meeting at the docks in 15 minutes to go over some camp safety rules. Let me know if you need anything. I need something. Filthy Rich, so nice to see you. What are you doing here? Camp is just getting started. Just taking in the scenery, Gloriosa Daisy. It's so <coughs> relaxing. Well, you can look around when camp is over. Now, if you don't mind. Five. Uh, Filthy Rich is uh, an alumni of the camp. 
He likes to check on his old stomping grounds every now and again. But enough about him. Find your tents and put away your things. We've got the best week of camp ever to begin. <sighs> I'm all for learning safety rules, but I do hope I can get started on my designs for the camp fashion show sooner rather than later. <laughs> I still can't believe you talked Gloriosa into having a fashion show. We're in the middle of the woods for crying out loud. We're supposed to be roughing it. It's clear from Gloriosa's own wardrobe that she appreciates a well-put-together look, even if we are in the middle of the woods. Fair enough. Just as long as you don't put me in one of your fancy pants outfits. You're gonna, aren't you? No. Yes! <laughs> don't worry, darling. It will absolutely speak to your personal sense of That was weird back there, right? With that guy, Filthy Rich? Huh? Oh, I guess so. I just have this feeling that Gloriosa's hiding something. Her brother is pretty cute, though, huh? He's okay. Ooh, now look who's trying to hide something. No, I'm not! Hey, you okay? You seemed a little freaked out on the bus earlier. Probably had another one of her nightmares. I'm fine. I mean, what do I have to complain about? Ever since I transferred here, everyone from CHS has been really nice and accepting. Especially considering what happened at the Friendship Games. That wasn't your fault. Principal Cinch is the one who encouraged you to try and use all that magic to win the games for Crystal Prep. You weren't ready to have that kind of power. But it's over now. And if there's any group that's gonna forgive you for something that happened in the past, trust me, it's this one. You guys come in or what? Be right there. I just want to put on some sunscreen. Huh, I could have sworn I packed it. Found it! Did you? How is this possible? I can't believe this. It's Terrible. amazing! Are you kidding? This is great! I mean, we've all ponied up before, gotten the whole ears and wings and tail thing, shot magical rainbow lasers, but nothing like this has ever happened. How did you do it? I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it's her. Her who? Nothing. Never mind. Can we just not talk about it? And could you please not bring this whole levitating thing up to the others? Why not? You heard Applejack. This is supposed to be a place where everyone can get away from magic. I don't want them to know I brought some crazy new kind with me. If you really don't want me to, I won't say anything. I really don't. Okay, but this isn't necessarily a bad thing. I think you're just gonna have to pick it up. Aww. Show up like that! What did you say? I didn't say anything. Just here to make sure everyone was headed over to the docks. Did you need something? Nope. Because if there is anything I can do to make this week the best week ever, you just let me know. I've got this. Thanks. I'm good. People that chipper make me nervous. I guess not all people. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? It looks like a diamond shining in the sun. It is lovely out here. The fresh air, the cool breeze, the birds that land on your finger. I think that only happens to you. Lake activities are available every day until sunset. So if you want to canoe, sail, windsurf, or swim, just let me know. Aren't they just the cutest? Ah! Whoa. I know I'm charming, but you don't have to fall for me. <sighs> Guess I can't get too jealous, right? After all, she is in my twilight. Not that the other twilight was mine, but we were, you know. Yeah, I get it. But your Twilight is a princess in Equestria. Hate to break it to you, but that's where she's gonna spend most of her time. So you're saying I just need to get over her? Kinda, yeah. Ouch, you're not pulling any punches. Not really my style. 
Sorry. This is a safety hazard. I suggest we close down the dock for the remainder of the camp. Oh, 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 I'm sure it won't have to be for the remainder of camp. Just needs to be patched up a bit. I've got this. Huh. Or maybe we do. If you ask me, this whole dock needs to go. Building a new one could be our camp gift. Sure would benefit us, but a nice new dock would benefit future campers, too. I don't know. It's an awful lot of work. I wouldn't want you guys to miss out on doing other fun camp stuff because you're so busy building a dock for future campers. I hear what you're saying, Timber, but we're Canterlot Wonder Colts. We've got a reputation to uphold. And there was no way we were going to leave this place without contributing the most awesome camp gift ever. I'm with AJ. Building a new dock is definitely it. What do you guys think? Yeah! Looks like it's settled then. Looks like it. That's some tension, all right. We can reinforce the foundation, make it nice and sturdy, and we can add a wood-carved sign that says Camp Everfree. And little boxes of food so you can feed the ducks and fishies. Oh, we'll add lanterns so you can see at night. <gasps> it's stunning! And we'll make an absolutely perfect runway for my camp fashion show! More importantly, it'll be a great place for docking canoes and feeding the wildlife. Mm, you say tomato, I say perfect place to showcase glamorous boho chic stylings. What do you guys think? It's going to be a lot of work, but we can do it. Nice hammer. Where'd you get it? Uh, duh. The toolbox. <laughs> That's cool. I made mine. Ugh. Making lanterns out of solar-powered garden lights. Pretty crafty there, Timber. You think that's crafty? You should see my macaroni art. I'm like the Picasso of noodles. <laughs> All right now, you've made a lot of progress, but it's going to be getting dark soon. We can pick this up tomorrow between our other camp activities. Everyone get cleaned up, and we'll gather by the fire pit at 8 to share s'mores and scary stories. And that's when she looked down and realized she was wearing purple socks with a burgundy dress! Darlings, the same color family. Uh, that was a terrifying story. Yeah, I'm terrified she'll try to tell it again. Uh, anyone else have a spooky story? I have one, but I'm warning you. You might as well hug a friend now. That's how scary it is. Oh dear. It's time I told you about the legend of Gaia Everfree. Many years ago, my great-grandparents came to this forest. Seeing its beauty, they decided that it would be the perfect place for a camp. But once they started building, strange things started to happen. One pitch black night, when the wind was howling, a tree branch crashed through the roof of their cabin. They screamed and ran outside, only to see a giant creature rising from the earth. She had wild hair like the roots of a tree. Her mouth had jagged rock teeth, and her eyes were pools of black tar. But her aura shimmered like diamonds. Anywhere she went, she left a trail of gem dust in her wake, trembling. My great-grandparents asked who she was and what she wanted. In a deep and hollow voice, she told them that her name was Gaia Everfree, an ancient spirit who held domain over the forest, and that my great-grandparents were trespassing on her land. They begged her to let them stay and build their camp, to share this wonderful place with others. Gaia Everfree finally agreed, but warned them that they would not be able to keep it forever. Someday she would return and reclaim the forest as her own. So if you see a trail of gem dust, you'll know that it is 
Gaia Everfree! <laughs> hey, guys. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. Then why'd you come out of the bushes? I took the scenic route because the forest is beautiful at night. But no one else should do it without a guide, okay? All right, everybody. Time to head to your tents. Uh, hey, Gloriosa. Do you have extra toothbrushes? I forgot mine. Sure do. I'll get one for you. <laughs> I'm scared of the dark. Do you have flashlights? Of course. I got this. <laughs> Fluttershy. <laughs> Sorry, Spike. I guess that story got to me. Why? It can't be real. I don't know. Gaia Everfree could be some creature that got booted from Equestria and ended up in this world. That's what happened with the sirens. Eh, sounded more like something that Timber was making up just to scare us. At least I hope it was. Last thing I want is to have camp ruined by some power-crazed magical creature. Oh, here, here. We've had to deal with more than our fair share of those. At the fall formal, our musical showcase, the friendship game... Well, I mean, you know, uh, everything turned out all right, of course. <laughs> mm, I'm kind of tired. I'm gonna turn in. Maybe lay off bringing up what happened at the friendship games. I think she's still pretty sensitive about it. Our lips are sealed. <sighs> here I am. Over here. I'm always here. No. What happened? Nothing. Sorry, Sunset. Uh, Twilight, I think something happened. Yeah! Is it time to get up already? Twilight, we really have to talk about this. No, we don't. Hey, I know you don't want to, but I really think we need to figure out what's going on with your magic. If you could learn to control it... But that's just it. I'll never be able to control it. What happened? I didn't mean to. We didn't see anything, so we don't know what happened. Are you okay? Yeah, it was so weird. We were stuck in the middle of the lake with no wind. Then all of a sudden, bam! The wind picked up and we were pushed right into the dock. No! <gasps> you don't think it was the spirit, do you? No, it was me. Spirit, show yourself. The great and powerful Trixie commands it. What's that? Is that so Work. Ruined. At least the fishies are eating well. Let's salvage what we can out of the water. Maybe we can still fix this. We have to try. Camp Everfree needs a runway. Doc. Doc, yes, that's what I meant. It used to be so simple. It was a world I understood. I didn't know what I didn't know And life seemed pretty good But now the darkness rises From somewhere deep inside of me Her power overtakes me Can I keep this midnight from
So many squirrels. Spike! <laughs> Duh! Oh, man. I was having the best dream. Wait. That dream could be a reality. Before you run off to chase squirrels, do you have any idea where Twilight could be? I really need to talk to her. What happened? Did she do that lifting things off the ground thing again? That's just it. I don't know if it was her, but if it was, we need to deal with it head on. I can track her down. Keep it together. Deep breaths. You are not a monster. No! Uh oh, hi. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, looking for you. Oh, I just went on a nature walk and got a little lost. Let me show you the way. I'm kind of an expert at these woods. I've lived here my whole life. That must have been nice, growing up at a camp. Yeah, though it has its downsides. When I was younger, I wished we'd sell this place so we could live in a town like normal people. Really? I was 10. I really wanted to hang out at the mall. <laughs> <laughs> I've never told that to anyone. You must be special. And not just because you have a tree branch in your hair. How long has that been in there? Not long. Just the whole time we were talking. <laughs> well, why didn't you say something? I guess we could help Twilight deal with the magic stuff a little later. Rock climbing is all about perseverance and trust. Rarity, you can trust that Applejack will spot you. Yeah, so you can totally go faster than you're going. Rainbow Dash. Sorry, I've been waiting to do this since we got here. Well, you have to wait a little longer, darling. Oh, good. Twilight, if you spot me, I can finally go. I'll go get another harness. I'm not sure. I better make sure my sister doesn't need anything. See you later. Twilight, there you are. I was looking for you. <laughs> Is that an earthquake? We aren't near any fault lines. Hey! Who left this crystally dusty stuff here? I believe I'd like to come down now. Sorry, it's a little bit stuck. Applejack, what are you doing? Is everything okay over there? I don't know what happened. I didn't even pull the rope that hard. It's like she was light as a feather all of a sudden. I was scared half to death. It wasn't my fault. Well, let me help you get your harness off. No, thank you. What in the world just happened? Oh dear, I am so sorry. I think, did I just do whatever that was? I don't think it was your fault. I'm gonna go get Applejack a towel. Me too. You're not the only one with a new kind of magic. This is great. No, it's not. Rarity and Applejack could have really hurt each other. Why is this happening? I don't. Hi, girls. Anything I can do for you? Uh, Applejack just fell into the lake. Oh, no. She's going to need warm towels, dry clothes, oh, and a hot cocoa. I've got this. <laughs> Fluttershy? What happened? I don't know. We were just decorating cookies and... That was all! You need more sprinkles and you need more sprinkles! So standard Pinkie Pie stuff. I was just tossing sprinkles to Fluttershy when all of a sudden they glowed pink and exploded! <laughs> just like that, only earlier! Okay, why don't you lay off touching stuff for a while? Oh dear, we really should clean all of this up. Can someone help me out? Thank you, Mr. Bird. Why, of course I can get you a little something to... <gasps> Did you just talk? But I don't speak chirp. Well, I don't know if you're the only bird I can understand. Oh, no. Please don't call for your friends. It's nice to meet all of you, too. Were you just talking to the birds? Um, yes. Did you tell them what happened? 
so crazy. I hoisted Rarity up the rock climbing wall like it was nothing, like I had way more strength than I usually do. And I made a diamondy thing appear out of nowhere, which normally I'd be excited about. I mean, the facets were just perfect. And the Rarity! Oh, sorry. It knocked Applejack over, and then it disappeared. Speaking of disappearing, has anybody seen Rainbow Dash? <laughs> Ow! Whoa, how'd you do that? I don't know. I started running to get the harness, and the next thing I knew, I was practically back in town. But if you had some sort of super speed, why were you gone for so long? Because I lost it when I got far away, and then it came back when I got close to camp. <gasps> Being at camp is giving us all new magical abilities! Not all of us have gotten new abilities. I haven't, but Twilight hasn't either. <sighs> So much for my theory that leaving CHS would mean leaving any new magic business behind. Something at the camp must be making this happen. Um, Gaia Everfree? Ah! Applejack, I was looking for you. Here, I brought you some towels and dry clothes. Uh, what happened in here? We're kind of trying to figure that out. Well, don't worry about it. I got this! Gloriosa! I kicked my beanbag into the lake. I'll get you another one. And I'm all out of arrows. Say no more. New arrows coming right up. There you are. Filthy Rich is back. You want me to handle it? Absolutely not. I've got this. Fluttershy, enough with the screaming. I didn't scream. For once. Nobody did. Huh? Attention, campers. Anyone who's interested in making floating paper lanterns, please meet us by the picnic tables. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I've been looking forward to coming here for a month. Maybe we forget about this new magic for a bit and just try to focus on enjoying our time at camp. I was also excited about the designs I've come up with for the camp fashion show, and I've barely gotten to whoop anybody in tetherball. I think we should try to figure it out, but if letting it go for now is what the rest of you want... I have some juice, please. Yes, please. Um, Pinkie Pie, what are you doing? Putting marshmallows in my lantern. Then when we light them, mine will be beautiful and delicious. Hey, Twilight, learn to with everyone else. Sunset said something at camp is causing the other girls to get new magic. I think it's Midnight Sparkle. She's still part of me. I can feel it. And I think her magic is infecting my friends. What are we gonna do? I don't know what I can do. Okay, everyone. It's time to watch your lanterns fly! Hey, cool lantern. Mine's my face. Uh, you okay? Mm-hmm. You don't seem like yourself tonight. Ready? And go! Aww. Oh well, now I get to eat it! Yep, beautiful and delicious. doing out here? We're... we're meeting a cab to take us home. She thought you'd talk her out of it. Because I would. Twilight, you can't leave. You don't think it was the spirit, do you? No, it was me. I think it's Midnight Sparkle. She's still part of me. I can feel it. And I think her magic is infecting my friends. Twilight, there's no Midnight Sparkle. There's only you. 
how did you know what I was thinking? When I touched your hand, I could see things. I could understand why you were leaving. My new magic. This is my new magic. This is incredible. No, it's not. I'm infecting you now. Twilight, you have to stop looking at this as a bad thing. Easy for you to say. Magic turned you into something beautiful. The last time I tried to use it, it turned me into a monster. I'm just so afraid it's gonna happen again. Yes, last time I turned into something amazing, but I've let magic turn me into a monster too. So if anyone understands what you're going through, it's me. I can help you, Twilight. And the rest of our friends can be there for you too, but not if you run away. <sighs> I'll stay. But I still don't think it's a good idea for me to be near the rest of our friends right now. Not until we know why this is happening. Understood. What was that? Ah! Ah! Wait. Twilight? Timber? I'm so glad it's just you. Wait, what are you doing out here? With an axe. I was chopping down firewood. In the middle of the night? We needed more for tomorrow night's campfire. And if I didn't take care of it tonight, it would be one more thing Gloriosa would add to her list. I've got this. <laughs> what about you two? Why are you hanging out in the woods in the middle of the night? Oh, I was sleepwalking. Twilight found me and was bringing me back to camp. Mm-hmm. Come on, I'll walk you guys back. I'll protect you from... Gaia ever free, ever free, ever free! Come on, that's obviously just a spooky story you made up to tell around the campfire. Oh no, it's legit. How else would you explain what happened to the docks? And that weird thing where the earth shook? Uh, come on, I know a shortcut back to the tents. Legit, huh? I think we just found our Gaia Everfree. But why would he work so hard to make us think she was real? You heard what he said about wishing his sister would sell this camp. If nobody wants to come here because it's home to some angry ancient nature spirit, it sure would help his cause. We should tell Twilight. Not yet. She's obviously going through a lot right now. We should probably be 100% sure before we tell her the guy she likes is a jerk who's trying to run everybody out of camp. Uh-huh. Phew. Uh, you gonna give us a hand here, Rarity? I would love to, but I really need to get the stitching on this poncho done if it's going to make it into the camp fashion show. Though at the pace you two are moving, I don't know that the runway will ever be finished. The dock is our gift to the camp, and it's gonna get finished. That is, if Rainbow Dash would hurry up and bring me more wood. I can't go any faster! I don't want to end up in the woods again. Don't be silly. Really? <sighs> I know I said we should try to forget all about this new magic business, but I can't. What if I hammer the board into splinters? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, shoot. I'm all out of nails. Oh, here you go! Piggy, go! Do. Which is why we shouldn't pretend this isn't happening. Do you have them now, too? It started last night. When I touch people, it's like I can feel what they're feeling and see their memories. Ooh, fancy! Try me, try me! Ooh, taffy! That explains so much. Girls, we can't just brush these powers aside because it doesn't seem like the ideal time to get them. What if it turns out that they could actually make things better? So you have magic, and it's not that great. But when it found you, you know it was fate. And it might seem scary now, but it can be wonderful too. So how about we embrace
not that great. But when I found you, you know it was fate. So if you listen close, you might make a new friend. And together we can make it. Managed to accomplish. Please, 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 can we do a run through for the fashion show on it right this minute? Thought you weren't finished with the stitching on your poncho. I am now. Get started without me. I gotta go find Twilight. Seeing what we've been able to do here might make her embrace the new magic too. Uh, not that she has any. Ah, this is all too much for you. You have to let it go. I knew it. He wants her to get rid of the camp. Oh. Sunset Shimmer? What were you doing behind that door? What? Um, nothing. I, um, lost an earring. Uh, there it is. Hey, listen. I'm glad I ran into you. I really wanted to thank you. For what? <laughs> for the tough love. Telling me I should get over Twilight. I needed to hear that. Sure, no problem. Is something wrong? What? No. Why? Come on, Sunset. We used to date. I know when something's bothering you. <sighs> okay, here's the deal. My friend really likes someone, but I don't think that someone is who she thinks they are. I don't want to upset my friend by telling her what I think because I also want to protect her because if what I think is happening is really happening, then she deserves to know, you know? No. But what I do know is that your friend is lucky to have someone like you to look out for them. Really? Yeah. You know, you've changed a lot since we went out. You're so much nicer. Thanks. I'm glad you noticed. Uh, look, maybe you and me, we could start over as friends. Uh, uh sounds great. I gotta go. Cool. Yeah, I want to start over later, too. <sighs> Shoot! He's definitely up to something. Sunset. She says to meet her by the rock quarry. I thought we weren't supposed to hike out that far. She says it's important. What is that? <coughs> Shh. What's going on down there? I think it's Gaia Everfree. Or rather someone who wants us to think she's back. Come on. magic here. I can... I can feel it. Wait. I thought Timber was just faking there was a magical nature creature. Are you saying it's real? Timber? What does he have to do with any of this? Nothing. It's all me. Gloriosa? But, Timber, I was sure he was the one trying to make it seem like Gaia Everfree was back. It was you who was trying to scare everyone away? I would never try to scare anyone away from Camp Everfree. Hi, oh my. You fell behind on your payments, Gloriosa. I own the land now. 
please. My great-grandparents founded this place. It's been in our family for generations. You have to let the camp stay. <laughs> Instead of turning it into a spa resort that will line my pockets with more money than this camp ever could? <laughs> I don't think so. Please, I, I, I just need a little more time. Fine, I'll give you till the end of the month. <laughs> <laughs> What'll I do? those things are. But I know what they can do! I've been practicing! I can control their power now! You don't know that for sure. This is our camp, and it's being taken away! If this has to be our last week here, I'm going to use whatever it takes to make it count! Magic all over the place. I had to tell them something to cover for you. What did you want me to do? I just wish you didn't tell them that ridiculous story! Ah, this is all too much for you. You have to let it go! Timber wasn't talking about letting go of the camp. He was talking about you letting go of the magical geodes. All those things you were doing to make this week the best week ever, every time you used magic to do them, it caused another problem somewhere else. Timber was... covering for you. How do you know what I was doing with the geodes? How do you know about the magic? I can see things. Feel things. Because I have magic too. And so does she, and so do our friends. Gloriosa, Timber wasn't wrong. Maybe you should stop using magic. Too much of it can be dangerous if you can't control it. Oh, I got this. And I'm going to use it to save my camp. I just need more power! No! <laughs> Dress rehearsal. Huh? I suppose we can get started without them. Whenever you're ready! Hmm, told you you'd like it. It's all right, I guess. I do get to keep it after camp, though, right? Different. Yeah, she looks taller. This is only a preview. <laughs> I've got another entire line I'll debut at the real thing. Why did you stop the... <gasps> oh, my goodness. Attention, campers! It's Gaia Everfree! She's real! Ah, why don't? Glory 
Gloriosa? What are you doing? That's Gloriosa? Am I going crazy or her feet not touching the ground? Freaky deaky! I have an announcement to make. Filthy Rich wants this to be the last session of Kemp ever free. But don't worry, I got this! Waited for the day to send this greedy wolf away. Now the magic is my salvation. Gather close in my protection. We will stand forever free. Behold the beauty of nature in all its glory. No need to fear the vultures at the door. Right here you have me to protect you within these walls of thorns. Forever free, forever more. They have come into our domain, here to seal our camp in chains. But we have held it for generations. This is just a complication we will stand forever free. Trust in me, this is for your own good. Don't be afraid, nature is our friend. All of this beauty that surrounds us Every lovely bloom designed to defend. Let them come, just let them try. I'm not about to say goodbye. This camp will be here throughout the ages, written into the history pages. We always happen to us. What are we going to do? What we always do. Save the day! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! This is gonna be so much fun! Oh, I only wish we had time to make superhero capes! Oh, me too! <sighs> Enough about our wardrobe. We've gotta stop Gloriosa from trapping everybody in here. <laughs> Hi, do you think you can give us a hand, a, a paw? We could really use a way out. Spike. Twilight, you have to use your magic. I don't think I can lift something that big. It's our only chance of getting out of here and helping our friends. I'm doing 
Santa. Let's just think about this for a moment, shall we? I mean, I think Camp Everfree is absolutely delightful, but I just don't know that I'm quite ready to give up my weekly trips to the spa. To the spa? To the spa! Gloriosa, this isn't the way. I appreciate your concern, Timber, but I got that! No! You don't! Twilight, do you think you can use your magic? I don't want to use too much. Midnight Sparkle could take over. Twilight! Our friends are in there. Okay. Please, Gloriosa. What you're doing is crazy. You have to listen to me. That isn't Gloriosa. Twilight! Don't say you're okay. That isn't your sister. It's someone who's been consumed by equestrian magic. Whoever you are, you have to let my sister go. Please, Gloriosa, come back. I need you. Gloriosa! You. you can use your magic to pull the brambles apart. No, there's too many of them. It would take too much magic. I can't. It's the only way. You have to embrace the magic inside you. But what if she takes over? What if instead of saving everyone, I turn into Midnight Sparkle and only make things worse? That won't happen. We won't let it. Twilight, you have to be stronger than she is. <laughs> you will never control me. I will always be a part of you. What... what happened? It's okay. It's gonna be okay. You did it! Oh, nice blink. What... what are these? I'm not sure, but clearly we have some kind of connection to them. I almost don't care what they are. They are gorgeous. 
And we'll totally go with the other collection I was working on for the camp fashion show! <laughs> That's probably cancelled, isn't it? I am so sorry. I only wanted this to be the best week Camp Everfree has ever had. And instead, I've made it the worst. Maybe it's for the best that I'm losing the camp to Filthy Rich. No, it's not. This camp has meant so much to so many people. My sister and me included. Why do you think we wanted our students to come here? We can't let Filthy Rich take this place away. If camp meant so much to you two, maybe it meant as much to the other campers who came here in years past. And maybe we can get them to help save it. Oh, like a fundraiser? Or a ball? Our band could play. I could help write a new song just for the occasion. Those are all good ideas, but where would we hold it? We could hold it in the crystal cave. <gasps> a crystal ball? I admire everyone's enthusiasm. Really, I do. But I, I just don't know how we're going to plan a ball by tomorrow and invite everyone. We got this! I used to think that stories were just that. Set in stone. place. Hey, don't sweat it. It's kind of what we do. Not to brag or anything, but it's pretty cool how I saved all those campers from those rubus fruticosis. Blackberry brambles. I'm familiar with the genus. It's just a little weird. You say you saved the campers. I thought I saved them. Yeah but I saved you from falling on the dock so that you could save the campers. So technically, it was all me. <laughs> I'm really glad I met you. Uh-oh. What? That sounds like a goodbye. 
and here I was hoping we'd still be able to hang out. Maybe get dinner and catch a movie? Yeah, I really like that. Oh, good. I was hoping that's what this meant. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. I need to borrow Timber. There are some donors I really want him to meet. They were good friends with Mom and Dad. Save me a dance, okay? Uh-huh. Adorable. He does seem like a pretty cool guy. You know what else is cool? Our awesome new superpowers. I handed out like 400 flyers, set up the stage, and still in time to pick up pizza. I love my super speed. About that, I think the crystals are the source of the superpowers. Well, you're not gonna ask us to give them up, are you? No, in fact, I think maybe we were meant to have them all along. Me too. <laughs> there is one thing I'm still wondering about, though. What's that? Where did the magic that hit this cave come from? 